welcome to my life on paper where paper and pictures tell my story and I'm going to do things just a little bit different today. I am playing along with Christy's Beautiful Life and her 30 Days of Sketches. Today is day, I'm always wrong on the day. Um, today is day four and I believe the sketch is by Erin Dolan. I could be very well saying that wrong, but I will have all her information listed below. And I am doing an Easter layout. I have um, Hello Easter by Echo Park, and it is from 2018. And what I did was first to determine like what I was going to do for the background paper. It was either going to be this or pink. And that is the reason why is I go through the items in the collection. Here, I kind of put it all back together, but the items in the collection. And then I see what I have two double page, you know, backgrounds of. Now I could have gone into my stash and got some cardstock, but I like this brown. I wonder what's on the other side of the brown. Might be the pink. Oh, nope. <laughs> it's a, it's a peep. It's little chicks. So I, that was, I was safe with that. And because of the brown of the cabinets, that's what, and not only that, but that it's a, not a busy background. It can read as a solid. Um, so I decided to go with that instead of the pink. Um, the next part I looked at was the, there is a six by six square and I knew I wanted some pattern. Um, I did choose this. It's got these cards on the back. There are two of these, so I can use some more of these cards if I want. And I, when I was cutting it, I looked at which cards I would be wanting um, because I needed just half of the 12 by 12 paper. So I looked at the cards on the back this is a nice one, but I had, something had to be sacrificed. So, all right. So I'm start. That's the way I started off. I should tell you about the pictures. Um, these are all the pictures I have from Easter from this year, 2024. Uh, I actually worked that day, I do believe, and I didn't. So I didn't take these pictures. Um, actually, I took this picture. This is a picture of Meredith's uh, roommate from last year, Jess. And she was with us and we forgot to get a picture. So um, so she, when she got home, she, she took a picture uh, of the basket we put together for her. I never got pictures of the girl, my girls with their baskets. It's okay. Um, it'll be journaled. And uh, one of the girls took this picture and that's uh, Easter uh, dinner. Not really dinner lunchish at our house but this was my lunch this was a salad and because of the embellish or the it says either photo or embellishment cluster I decided to make that um it's like four and three quarter inch round circle that I did cut with my Cricut so that's where I started with that um so the next thing I knew is I want this for the title I haven't decided if I'm going to keep it that big or if I'm going to cut around to make it a little bit smaller. Um, what else did I do? What was next? Next might have been the six by six. Um, yeah, six by six. I made a six by six square and then cut it in half. And on, I have to tell you, honestly, I was going for the bunnies. But as soon as I did it, then I knew that this would have to be flipped this way and the bunnies would be on their side. So we're going with carrots and that is just fine. Um, I think the next thing I did was go into my stash and get out some papers to be the frame of the photos. So, and you wouldn't have to do this as a six by six. It is noted that in the sketch, um, but if you took four, five, six. If you took an inch strip and just put it up on top and an inch strip I put on the bottom, no one would ever know the difference. So here are my, and that's just something that was in my stash. Put that there. And then the, the um, I have a journaling bit that I cut off of one of those papers. So that can go up there. And then I, I did cut out a six by six square and then it says to cut it into the three by three and you could just do three by three, but I did follow the rules. So we're gonna put one down over here and then one up here, one will go over here. I'm not sure which over or under and then same thing with over here. 
And then there's an embellishment cluster over here and I found this sticker with the, with the um, collection. So I'm gonna use that. And then from there, I think I'm gonna get you sped up after I glue everything down and then I'll do my embellishments. First, I have to tell you that the, the round picture is three and three quarters, not four and three quarters, like I said before. And then I go into the collection from the stickers and get out the rest of the stickers that I want to use as embellishments. Um, what is left after I take these off are like titles and words. So um, I've got the, the Easter Bunny there that's going to go next to my lettuce salad. And I think that's pretty funny because um, rabbits eat lettuce. And uh, that is the salad that I had working at the hospital. Uh, I'm gonna layer those, and then I will uh, try. I will try my hardest to find a spot for that chocolate bunny. I already have the egg put down, and I'm looking at the directions that the the bunnies are looking at. One is kind of going left, and one is going going right. So I figure, well, if I've got the one on the right hand side looking left, then the one that's looking right should be on the left hand side. But as try as I might, I couldn't get that to work. I could have used that tag too, the, the bunny on the tag. So I do uh, put this um, kind of as a secondary, secondary title. I said a hip hop, I can't, hippity hoppity to the hip hop. <clears throat> and I was going to put the bunny, or no, I think I ended up putting the bunny there. And that's just where it had to go because I felt like it that needed that um, kind of that visual triangle of the chocolate stuff. So the Easter Bunny's got the chocolate basket. We've got two chocolate um, bunnies to make a visual triangle. I get two little words in there, sweet treat and sweet. And I think that might be about it for me. So thanks so much for hanging out with me today. I hope you have a fabulous day. Um, check out everybody playing along, along below and please come back and see me again tomorrow for another video.